is Margaret Sauter with an example from Amnesty International for actions we can take after leaving this room to bring a bit more freedom to the oppressed in this world. Hi. Um, so for those who don't know what Amnesty International is, it's a, um, a worldwide organization of people who campaign for human rights to be protected and respected by everyone on an international level. Um, and they believe that human rights abuses anywhere are the concerns of people everywhere. Um, so by doing that, they use writing letter campaigns, uh, and they have vigils, and they have demonstrations to uh, speak out against uh, a lot of the human rights um, issues that are around, going around the world. And that's something we do on campus here as well, through our own letter writing campaigns, and we bring in speakers, and we have panel discussions as well. Uh, and interestingly enough, our theme for this year is refugees. So uh, as you leave, you can uh, sign some letters we have on Sri Lanka. And for those who don't know, the issue in Sri Lanka right now is that they are in a civil war, and that's between the government and the LTTE, which is the Tamil Tigers. And the, the reason behind that is the Tamil Tigers uh, want to separate and have their own country, and they are fighting and they've been bombing. Um, and this really isn't necessarily an example that works with a lot of the issues we have here, but Amnesty also works a lot with people who are persecuted because of their religion or their sex, um, or just because maybe they are the minority in the country they live in. So right now, 300,000 people about have been um, become refugees in Sri Lanka, and the letters we have are asking the government to make sure that they are in safety zones and that they are getting food and shelter. And a lot of the time, they aren't because these safety zones, as of right now, aren't really safe. Uh, and actually, sadly, in the last few days, the government has accused the international organizations of siding with the LTTE because they believe that um, by having terrorism in countries, it means that there's business there for these international organizations, uh, which, of course, is you know, not usually the case. Uh, so uh, the other thing that we were asked to um, address by being involved in the Seder was to uh, have some event or a few events that then would go past the Seder. And we're actually bringing in a speaker named James Yi, April, April 16th, excuse me. And he was a Muslim chaplain at Guantanamo Bay, where he was um, preaching religious tolerance and talking about the desecration of the Quran. And uh, during then the September 11th attacks, he was actually jailed because they thought he was um, a conspirator and that he was talking then with the, um, the terrorists. So he's going to be coming and uh, talking about his experience of then being jailed in Guantanamo Bay. And uh, then we're also going to have a letter writing campaign, um, hopefully in the middle to end of April, that will then also be dealing with refugee issues and um, people who uh, are being persecuted. And we're also hoping to have a letter writing campaign um, about New Orleans, because that in itself is a refugee situation as well. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to come to those events. And just remember that there are, or, are organizations out there that um, are really working towards trying to help people not be oppressed and working for their liberation. Thank you. And again, this is...